Well, hello and welcome back to my shop again. I'm Earl, Earl's Small Segment Shop. Today, I'm going to be making some friction polish and using it. When we talk about the friction polish, now, I'm sure you've seen all over the internet. They make it with three basic ingredients. First one, shellac. This is liquid shellac. It's been dissolved in alcohol. I believe, and don't quote me on this, that this is two pound cut. That means two pounds of shellac crystals dissolved in a gallon of alcohol. And I say, I think this is two pound cut. And the next component to have is boiled linseed oil. It's got to be boiled linseed oil, not just linseed oil, but boiled. Regular linseed oil won't cure. It's got to be boiled. And of course, alcohol. Alcohol is just to dilute the shellac down some from two pound cut. It's already inch alcohol. Of course now, you can always use your own shellac crystals. Right here. These are shellac crystals. You can dissolve these in alcohol and use them if you so desire. I've done it and I'll do it again sooner or later. So, those are the three things you need. Now if you look on the internet, I'll tell you to mix them in equal parts. One third each, one third of each one. I have a problem with that. This is boiled linseed oil right out of the can. This is shellac right out of the can. This of course is alcohol. Now, I like to dilute this down to about one pound cut or less. I think I got some up here that's diluted down here some. Now shellac, when you put it on the surface, as soon as the alcohol evaporates, it's hard again. It's finished. Boiled well, linseed oil, on the other hand, if you put it on the surface, in order for it to harden, it's got to have a chemical reaction with the air. It oxidizes. And that takes a while. Under average condition, it takes at least 24 hours. So, if you mix them in equal parts, and you put a finish on something, a friction polish, as soon as the alcohol is evaporated, which happens in the friction polish, you get this smooth, shiny surface. Well, actually, what you're doing is pulling the shellac smooth. But the boiled linseed oil has not cured yet, and you can actually feel it. So what I like to do is use less amount of boiled linseed oil, and it still allows you to pull the shellac. If you try and pull it with no Boil linseed oil in it, it'll ball up and gum up, and it'll just make a terrible mess. So the boiled linseed oil really acts as a lubricant to help you pull the shellac smooth. That's all it does. So what I got here is a piece of bobinga that I've sanded smooth. Sanded all the way up using all the grits, going all the way up using all the scotch bright pads. I've got a really smooth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little shellac on it, wipe it off. I'm going to use the, uh, there's probably less than a one pound cut. I'm going to put a little boiled linseed oil on it, wipe it off, and see what it looks like after a while. Now, in order to do this project, after I make it, I'm going to put it on a bowl. And I got a bowl made out of bobinga and Macassar ebony. 
So we're going to put it on that mold later. The first thing we're going to do is just put some shellac and some boiled linseed oil on here and just see what they're like after 10 minutes, after an hour, and after 24 hours. So what I'm going to do is put a little shellac on it. Take and just spread this around, whip it around, thin it out. It's really probably about a half pound cut, maybe a pound cut. Okay. Boil linseed oil, I'm going to put down here on the other part of this board. And I also will wipe off the excess. Now, find me a spot here. We'll wipe this around and then wipe off the excess. Okay, wipe it all off, just a light layer. Now we've got shellac here and boil linseed oil here. Well, the shellac's already dry. Shellac's dry. Alcohol's gone and it's dry. Well, linseed oil ain't dry. And this boiled linseed oil, we're going to let it set. And it might be dry tomorrow at this time. We'll see. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to mix up some like I like it. I'm going to take the shellac. This is right out of the can. I'm not going to measure it. I'm going to put some shellac in it. That ought to be enough. Now that's pretty heavy shellac there. I'm going to put some alcohol in it to thin it down. Yeah, that's about right. That's about a one pound cut there, I think. That's close enough. It ain't really that critical. But now, instead of putting a whole lot of boiled linseed oil, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Maybe enough to make up about 10% at the most. That should be enough right there. We'll let it settle to the bottom and see how much I've got after it settles down. Put the cap back on this. The well used bottle. Now once it settles down you can see how much is on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it or not. But right on the bottom there's a little bit of boiled linseed oil. About that much, and that much air is shellac and alcohol, which really one pound cut shellac is all it is, and that's boiled in seed oil. And there should be enough to do the job. Because if I put too much boiled in seed oil in it, it don't cure right away. You can feel it when you touch it. This ain't even started to cure here. So it, if you got a lot of boiled linseed oil in it, you got to let it settle a long time. So that's why I like just a little bit. And a little bit's enough to lubricate it, believe it or not. You see me mix this up, and I'm going to use that on the bowl. Now, 
I got this bone here. It's Bubinga and Macassar Ebony. And like anything else, if you want a good shine, you have to have a good surface underneath. And I don't care if it's a car or a boat or anything. If the surface ain't prepared right, you're not going to get a good shine on it. That's the way it is. So I've got this sanded all the way. Then I sprayed it with water, re-sanded it, and took it all the way through all the scotch bright pads. So it's smooth and ready to take a shine. And I'm going to use this I just made on it to shine it up. I'll probably end up putting more in one coat. But I'm going to go put it back on the lathe, and then we're going to put a layer on it. Now, this is the stuff I just mixed up. Shake it up and get this milky color in it. Get it mixed up good. Now I'm going to put it on at a slow speed. And after I get it on, then I'm going to turn the speed up and burn it in, which is strictly going to just get rid of the alcohol, basically, and smooth out the shellac. So first I'm going to put it on slow. Let that evaporate a little bit. A little bit more on the inside. Don't want too much. Now that should be enough. Let it spin for a minute. Now let's turn the speed up and burn it in. Spin it till it gets hot. Getting hot yet. That's starting to get hot. Okay, that's burning in good now. Now if you can see that or not, see the... See the shine on it or not? 
But it's shiny now. And the shellac is smooth and shiny. But I guarantee you, and you can feel it, that the boiled linseed oil hasn't cured out yet. So we're going to have to just let this sit. I'm going to leave this sit on the lathe overnight. And we see what it's like tomorrow. I may put on a second coat. I may not. Okay, I'll let this sit overnight. I think I'm going to let it sit another day before I do the bottom. Make sure it's hard. You can see the shine on it, I hope. It's got a really good shine on it. Oh, this piece that I put the shellac on here and put the boiled linseed oil on here really light. The boiled linseed oil now, it's been 24 hours, it's cured. And it actually makes a really nice finish. It is nice. I wish you could feel it. It's nice and smooth. Of course, it ain't near as shiny as that because of the friction polish, because I've used the friction on them. But it is a very nice finish, just the boiled linseed oil by itself. So, to make friction polish, you need three things. Alcohol, shellac, and boiled linseed oil. Now, like I say, most places will tell you to mix them in equal parts. If you like them mixed in equal parts, go ahead and do it. Mix them in equal parts. It works. Personally, I don't like that much boiled linseed oil. I like a little bit on the bottom. Not that much. Which one is it? There it is. This one. Just a tiny little bit here on the bottom. It's enough, enough to lubricate it. So, that's my take on it. I get a good shiny finish. I still, the boiled linseed oil still ain't quite cured out completely yet. I'm going to let it set some more. But, as you can see, it's not easy, it's not hard, excuse me, it's not hard to make. Mix them up to whatever quantities you like. And uh, mostly it's just the friction. Put it on slow and then burn it in. And you get a good, beautiful finish. Of course, like I said before, the surface has got to be prepared to get a good finish. Without a good preparation, you're not getting a good finish. And I like to see what this looks like buffed out one time. Anyway, I appreciate everybody who watches the video, and I appreciate those that subscribe. And uh, come back and see my next video. If you got any questions, I'll leave my email address somewhere, probably up here. And uh, thank you.